Welcome to the Cerner Solutions Spotlight Series videos. Today we will be looking at vendor risk management with vendor tiering assessments. My name is Philip Roach. I am a technical consultant at Cerner Solutions. I'm a member of the security and risk team. A tiering assessment is a core capability of the vendor risk module. It allows the organization to perform assessments against a vendor using internal company resources to gauge the risk that the vendor possesses for the company. You will ask why a vendor tiering assessment is important. It will reduce the slow interview with the requester process, tie together inputs from multiple departments in a consistent manner, help prioritize how much work needs to be done in a central location. Starting from the vendor risk overview dashboard, we can see a variety of information from the vendor risk application. From the vendor classification by tier, we can select a company who has not yet carried out the tiering assessment. From the list, we can choose a company from the portfolio. We can see that the vendor tier has not yet been set. So we scroll down to the related list, create a new tiering assessment. By completing the fields, some of them have already been filled in for us. You will pick an assignee from within the vendor risk application. This is a user who already has a role. We will choose the tiering assessor who will carry out the assessment. This can be one or many. Once we save this record, we will be given the option to pick our tiering questionnaire. From here, we will choose the basic option. Different questionnaires are available based on the needs of the organization and can be configured and set up in advance. We have a vendor tiering scale, which is a property set up within the system that will define once the questionnaire is complete, how those scores will be ranked. We have a tiering assessment schedule, which is how long the tiering assessment will take to complete. And then we have the option of comments and notes that may be useful. Once we're ready, we submit this to the assessment, which will be a vol tutor in this case. By impersonating our assessor, we can switch to Cerner Solutions Integrated Risk Management Portal, where we can take this tiering assessment. Once we complete this, we can submit it and get a score from the scoring framework. We submit and the assessment is complete. We can now return to our previous account to check to see the responses. By returning to the company record and scrolling down to the tiering assessment, we can see that it has been complete by our assessor and that we have a tiering level of critical. We can look at this assessment take a look at the questionnaire in the assessment instance, which is complete. And we can look at the tiering score. The tiering score is calculated based on the responses to the questionnaire and can be changed as needed. The score has been passed to the tier level. And once we close out this tiering assessment, this value will be passed in to the company record. The new vendor tier score has been set to critical as per our tiering assessment. We can also carry out new tiering assessments as needed with a new score overwriting the previous. We also have the option of modifying this manually ourselves. If we return to the overview dashboard, we can see that the empty has shifted it and moved us into the critical area where you can now see Cerner Solutions. Once the tiering assessment process is complete, the next step, depending on the configuration of the application, can be to set up the actual vendor assessment based on the vendor rules. In this case, because we have a tiering assessment of critical, we can automatically assign an assessment to that vendor. This concludes today's Spotlight video on vendor risk management tiering assessments. Please stay tuned for more Spotlight videos from Cerner Solutions. Thank you very much.